I guess people will be quite, yeah, you guys will be a little bit excited about it. Yeah. It's just really honestly, guys, just honestly between me and you guys, you know, I've been working on this game for four years. It's been really, it's just been a fucking drag uh, on many levels. To the moment we're going to launch, it's a bit, I'm just exhausted. I don't know if you guys get what I mean. I'm just exhausted. Uh, and I just want to see the numbers do its work rather than Yeah, I just want to I just want to do see the numbers do its work. It's mainly just going to be and the cash out. I don't care about cash. I don't know that I'm trolling around, but I don't care about the cash. It's just like Like everything is going to get a lot more serious and things are going to grow very rapidly. Definitely if I start pumping money into ads and, and what I currently, the, the, uh, the reach I currently have is nothing. It's just nothing. I have very little reach, not to this, you guys, of course, but like, it's just, I have so many stuff, like I got messaged by so many people. And yeah, like, the ads will be very funny, yeah. We will release this weekend, Joris. The only way that we don't release this weekend is if there is a major issue with upgradability, but they have already tested it and they're just doing another run. And normally we could have already launched today, but they wanted to be double sure. That's why tomorrow or maybe the day after tomorrow. Yeah. Will you d level up the buy wall with the game launch? Um, we will see what happens. But like, I don't talk so much about purpose and doobie because, because people don't have the time anymore to get it. So yeah, you guys, you guys missed the boat. Like getting Ethereum will take you at least, it will, yeah. Yeah, you guys don't have time enough to get Ethereum. So I'm not going to be, like, it's just unfair. Well, people that got themselves purpose, uh, well played. I mean, people that didn't, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Feels bad. You guys are going to cry the next couple of days, but yeah, whatever. Any last messages to the 50 cent purpose holders? I feel... Yes, like when you guys become millionaires, right? Just remember that it was a handout and that I trust that you guys are going to use it for good. And for good does not mean you have to, you know, give it away or be naive or whatever. It's just like use it to, you know, to bring the best out of yourself and out of people around you and the world. Because you guys are going to be millionaires. For real, by the way. Yeah, use it, use it. Like, and it doesn't mean like you gotta, you know, you gotta go full fucking monk mode. If you're a millionaire, you can treat yourself, but you know, don't don't lose your way. Don't lose your way. Stay with your feet on the ground. You 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 hear these stories about people winning the lottery, right? Basically, you guys fucking won the lottery. Um. 
And I just hope you guys realize it's because it's because I want to give back to the world and, and trust you guys will do good. I do know that some people will just use it for hookers and coke and whatever the fuck, but whatever, man. I hope most people will use it for good. So, yeah. Oh, we just dinged again. What the fuck? Well, you're going to see that a lot in the next couple of days. These dings. We're also going to start merging dings together, just so you guys know, because the traffic will be too much. And what I mean with that is like, we're going to have to merge 10 levels in one. And we will do 10 dings at once. Because like, man, like, yeah. When I'm going to do the ads, when the game is stable. We will also see if we can put COS on Switch and also release in China, but that's music for a bit later. But first, the game has to be stable and everything. Is 500 purpose a lot? Well, just imagine if purpose is 100 bucks. That's the best thing I can tell you guys. Imagine purpose is $100. Like, that's what you got to imagine. Okay. Like, the moment, you, you, the moment you've come to realize that one, you'd be like, okay. Yeah. Oh, things are going to go crazy. Purpose is, yeah, like, it's going to go crazy. How high is it going to get in the next five years, a thousand bucks or something? I think the first year, 20 to a hundred dollars should be easy. But yeah, I, I don't know for sure. I can't see the future. I think with all the, the Ethereum and all the, the, the crypto bull run, like our game is going gonna, is gonna to be praised. It's going to go very fast as well. Like shit is going to go crazy. Like, uh, and that's also like, I, 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 I come on the stream, I'm a bit exhausted because I've been running around a lot to try and get the game done. Um, it's just like, in the past, my entire, um, my ability to make a difference in the world was very much tied into Twitch. And uh, it, that's going to change. Like once we launch, it's going to change. I, I won't be as dependent anymore. Uh, it's going to take a little while to, you know, to really lift off and such, but like, I won't invest as much time in trying to grow my Twitch or whatever. Like I, there is just no, no reason for it. Like I'm much better off just playing the numbers and, and spamming ads and just raking hundreds of millions of new players which is, as long as you have the money, nobody cares. Yeah. Will the supply wall just keep growing or the buy wall go down at some point? The idea is, at a certain point, maybe at 2000, if purpose hits 2000, to remove the buy wall, uh, to remove the supply wall and keep the buy wall. And then like, I see a, a big rise in purpose because then it's basically free for all. Um, and then it's basically like other cryptos. The free hodl is not working yet. That's music for later. The problem with the free huddle is it requires a lot of testing and we've been fo focusing on getting the game out.
He said he won't mark it until the game is stable, so expect a few months before anything blows up. Reformed bully, I'm going to tell you something. And it's something very important to, to be aware of. We already wanted to launch in October last year. You might say like, okay, what does that have to do with, you know, with it being stable? We could have already launched last year in October, but we just made sure the game is not a cyberpunk fiasco. So we have been fixing bugs, fixing bugs, fixing bugs. The last build that we made, um, which was the result of a lot of other testing and all, a lot of shenanigans, we made it, uh, I think, yesterday night, yeah? It has been tested nonstop by, I think, 30 people or something? Less than 10 small cards. These are people that know the game in and out and that are testing everything. Less than 10 small cards, small bugs. It's just insane. Like, if people are going to play the game and you can already download the beta, you will barely see any bugs. Didn't it bug when you are in match two, when you couldn't leave until you used the nuke? Like, um, my, my own account has special properties. And um, like it's because it's the Athene Live account. And as a result, m my game is just overall, it's not tested like it is with all other games. You guys are players. It's the same with crew. There's a lot of uh, edge cases with crew accounts that is not being you know, heavily tested. Uh, you got to see as a normal user. Is it stable on Bluestacks? Uh, I've played now on Bluestacks. It went well. I think if you thought about putting Purpose and Doobie on, on the uh, Binance smart contract, yes, we've thought about it. But we decided not to do it. We might do it in the future. With Uniswap becoming more popular, are you considering listening there? Ha! Huh. Once our game is out, you're gonna see Purpose and Doobie pop up on on all on all exchanges. I know it doesn't matter so much in the short term, but the problem is that uh, we need to make a, a proper bridge, and that requires development time. And if the game is out and uh, it's popular, we will be able to leverage our position towards Binance. And I see them really drop 100 million just for us to, to migrate to the Binance smart contract. No, bridges are not easy. Because the idea that we had is literally you go to, to DBX and you spend Ethereum and you basically get uh, Binance uh, Duby and Binance uh, Purpose with also some Binance smart coin like on top of it so you can immediately trade so it's almost invisible. The problem though with, with the, the Binance smart chain is also in the MetaMask and with your ledger and stuff you need to connect to a different network. There's just more things that make it a little bit less user friendly. That's all. If we would migrate to the Binance smart contract, it would just be a fork and everybody would just have their value on, on the Binance smart contract. But yeah. You can use the Binance app, but the thing is though, like I, I know, but like it requires integration and change a lot of stuff. And also Ethereum will have some really nice changes. We will see. We will see as things goes. What's the ETH on the game nowadays? This weekend. You didn't see the stream? We're going to launch this weekend.
this weekend means there's a chance to launch this month. Yeah. I know the fees are high. It's really trash. I'm fully aware of it. I'm fully aware of it. We will, we will. Yeah, we will. We will see and adapt as we go. I mean, the fact that you can turn your favorite streamers into NFTs is already a big fucking deal. It's actually going to go crazy. Oh, we actually made a few changes, just so you guys know. <laughs> yeah. About like the, the, the export of, of streamers, right? There was a lot of issues with the, the fees being so high. But basically, the way we, we fixed it is you can only export 12 star level 12 streamers with normal Krypton in the game. Uh, but with G4G Krypton, you can export all streamers, uh, all levels and stars. That's how we fixed it. So as a result, we don't have to worry about the fees because any like Krypton you buy through G4G, um, yeah, easily pays for the, the, the gas fees. While through the game, Krypton, you can get it from sale points and all that shit, which makes it, yeah, which like people can literally make a bot farm and, and just basically grind Krypton and fucking us over. The word NFT wasn't even popular when you had that ID. Yeah, it's because I'm ahead of time. Is this a separate uh, currency or the same pool? It's the same pool in the game, although when you go to the export, you will see both numbers. So it's treated as the same. And the way it works is whenever you buy something, it will always prioritize your normal Krypton. And when you export, it prioritizes your G4G Krypton. What is safe moon crypto? I see. Is there going to be something like new news patch notes? The game has patch notes in, in, in integrated. Will you update the purpose.io website? Pff, I don't care about it. Nobody checks that shit anyway. When do you think you will release the game tomorrow? Pff, once I get the green light, I will just go live. Just go live when I get the green light tomorrow. I will I will stream the docu live with the launch. That's what I'm planning to do.
Yeah. gonna be nice when the game comes out though it's really gonna be nice what do you guys think is gonna happen You think people are going to talk about the stuff on, on live stream fails? I don't think so. Well, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I'm banned on live stream fails, but there's a, a lot of pieces in the docu that can be shown that don't even have a thing in there. I guess you guys saw already the, the, the start of the docu, right? The little fragment. I guess you guys already know where I'm going. Do you think the documentary will be enough to turn a narrative around a bit or that's going to take longer? The narrative, there is not really a narrative around the scene. I'm too, like, I'm too unknown. Like, I've, 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 I'm really like a shadow of the past. Like, the way it's going to do is, like, if the game comes out, I see quite some streamers try it out. Like, Hobbs was today on the stream saying he was going to play it. I see quite some streamers try it out. And... Uh, yeah, if, if they if they if they share the referral link and they add their face, things are gonna go really crazy. Um, but yeah, at the same time, it it might take a while. I do think people like Asmon Gold and other streamers will do a react to the documentary. I'm quite sure about that one. Because I haven't put any video on my YouTube channel for four years. Well, three years, I think. Um, more than three years, almost four years. And uh, many react Andes. I really think so. Yeah, like, and it's not just Asmongol that is in the documentary. Almost every fucking big streamer that talked good or shit about me is in that docu. So, like, it's, it's, like, it's very, it's going to be very relevant because... because they are in it and their viewers will ask, uh, what do you think about it? I had to remove Recful. He was in it, but yeah. Destiny is in it for sure, right? Well, of course, man, of course. He brings a lot of la cream, la creme of the docu. <laughs> He's going to definitely talk about it. Yeah, the docu and the, the docu talks about the game at the end. Oh, Critical is also in there. Don't worry, man, for sure. Of course, man. Anyone that talks shit about me is in there. <laughs> uh, every fucking YouTuber and streamer that talks shit or good about me is in there.
I'm more interested in the doku than the game. There's also some sad parts in the doku. People that I, like, I, I know I showed it here, right, to some people. All the girls that watched it cried, all of them. It's a very sad doku as well. Is a doku part of the marketing to relevance? Well, the goal of the doku is obviously to, you know, it's not just about relevance or promoting the game. It's also about addressing all the bullshit and all the fucking accusations and everything around me. It's really like, um, it got really bad. It got really, really bad. It's the reason why I also stopped streaming and everything. Like a lot of people don't realize it. Why do you care about accusations? The problem is not the accusation. The problem is the consequences getting canceled on platforms. You can just get canceled for nothing. I might have to make response videos on, on, on people responding to the docu. Maybe I will see. Well, the thing is on, on, on Reddit with AFK arena, I'm just literally playing, uh, the crowd there. Um, and making sure that once our game launches, I can easily inject and get a lot of AFK Arena players. Because AFK Arena has played more than 100 million. It's the biggest, uh, it's the biggest comparable gacha out there by far. Comments will be disabled, uh, enabled, and likes will also be enabled. People can dis dislike or like whatever they want. I don't care. How many subscribers and streamers all together? Oh, it's 20 million or something, if not more. Chico Gaming, Chico Gaming, you should make some guides so we can, you know, promote you. Chico Gaming, you made some, you have good, good, uh, good, good, good vibes, good vibes. Did you see that the game is coming out this weekend? So make some nice guides and I'll, I'll give some nice, nice, nice shout outs and stuff. I know we dinged. We only dinged once, right? Not twice, just once, right? Yeah, only once. You can use the, the beta we have now, right? Chico Gaming is the exact same as the launch version tomorrow or the next day. It's the exact same build. We're just testing upgrade compatibility. And if that works, we launch. Although you don't keep your progress, huh? you won't keep your progress. And referral links, of course, don't work because, yeah, it's not connected to. There's a few things that in this build don't work. Like, I don't think you can connect your Discord. Uh, the referral links don't work. Um, there's, a f there's one or two more things. Is Ali in the docu? No, Ali is, is, too, is too irrelevant. The beta purchases are going to trans over. Uh, but the way we're going to do it is we're going to do it one by one. And what I mean with that is like, um, um, we will have someone here go through the list of people that have, that have basically, uh, already done purchases and sent them, uh, sent them $10 vouchers and, um, the idea also like, so like we will divide what they have in, in $10 and $5 vouchers, which is going to allow you to buy stuff for the best price, basically. And, um, and then what we're going to do as well is for certain people, we will have 
we will have a, a very specific approach because some people spend so much money, like we will just ask them what they want and we will send that to them. No, no, no. Th these vouchers will not count as uh, as G4G Krypton. Um, unless you really want us to send for the amount, send deals from gaming for good. Uh, we can see, we can see what we can do. A beta loot cart. Um, we, we have beta loot cart uh, design and um, but we haven't implemented it. We will implement it either way and we might even give beta loot cards to people that have joined the beta before already but that will only arrive quite a while from now. So yeah. Will all the money the game make via fiat currency be reinvested in purpose? We will we will go almost fully crypto. The the beta loot card will be sent to beta players, but I don't know if they will include players that have played the beta until now. It might just be the beta after launch. I don't know. We will see. We have design, but we just wanted to get the game out as soon as possible. And and these kind of things, it's nice to have, but it just slows down the game. The NFT export price, we actually found a very nice balance. With normal Krypton in the game, you can only export 12 stars level 12. And if you export to G4G Krypton, you can export anything. So like G4G Krypton is Krypton you get by buying stuff on G4G. So the good news is that if you buy stuff on G4G, you can literally transfer level one, one stars for a very small amount and you instantly have it on the blockchain, instantly. Is it still four hundred dollars for season one? It's still four hundred bucks unless you can reduce the price. You can reduce the price drastically, and it's hundred. It's a hundred. Yes, it's a hundred. You can export streamers. I think the lowest is fifty bucks because we've capped it at fifty percent instead of ninety-five percent reduction. But nobody's going to get 50% in the first year anyway, so whatever. And we might increase the cap as time progresses. But yeah. Because you can reduce the cost of exporting based on your progress. When do you think the game will start to become super popular? Like I said, it's just like today, right? I came, I say we launch. People yesterday would think we launch in Christmas. Like, honestly, you guys would really think, did you guys assume we would still, like, that I just come online and say, hey, we launched this weekend. Nobody assumes that. And it's, it's, it's going to be very similar uh, for other things as well. Like, uh, if we do a, a campaign, an ad campaign for $10 million or whatever, I will, what I would like to do is, is, is show live concurrent statistics on the stream so people can see how many people are actually playing the game live. I would like to do that. I would like to involve a bit of the statistics, but then again, I don't know how much I'm going to stream every day because I'm really needed. Can I sell my hero? Out of cost, yes. You can sell your hero without, like, because it's on the blockchain. You don't even need, like, anything. And they, they, when they go into the game, 
they can see the the, the art and everything. It's like um, NFTs, um, like NFTs, these pictures, right, or whatever. Like the picture is not on the blockchain. Well, in some cases it is, but most of the time it's not. It's just a URL. You basically buy a URL that links to something. Like the NFT is just the like like of the of the hero just contains the information of that hero uh the progress and everything we're gonna launch right away on apple and google yes Is there a way to make constantly see money? Yes, on the game, like trading, yes. In a way where you can live from it, yes, for sure. There is gonna be people that make millions from my game, millions. Uh, it's gonna be actually one of the most, it's one of the games that's gonna make people live the most profitable. Like, but of course right now it sounds a bit like I'm cuckoo. Like, let's give it some time and see. I do think, right? like once we launch tomorrow or the day afterwards right very fast i'm talking like one or two weeks i will already be able to tell you guys what's going to happen if shit is going to hit the fan or not after one to two weeks after launch i'll be able to tell you guys if we need to make a lot of changes to the game for it to become a success or uh if we're basically just gg Are they gonna go, are people going to leave or are they more excited to stay on the coming months? There's quite some people that are gonna leave. Well, when it's GG, people just will become millionaires and become very rich. That's all. Yeah, they already told me. What about you, Athene? Excited or stressed? Um uh, I'm a little bit stressed because there was something that just happened and I was a bit stressed, but we sorted it out. A little bit stressed, but it's it's just like a bit numb. It's just numb. Yeah, I'm a bit more numb. So of course, like if the game is out and everything is rolling, if the response is great, right, and people start making videos and stuff, it, it would pump up. But I... I I really assume a very, very slow launch. That's what I assume. Very slow launch. Even with the documentary. That's, that's where my bar is. Things are very slow. All those years and hate did a number on you. Uh -huh. Nah, it's, it's mainly like the game is it's just, it's so much work. Are the NFT metadata stored on decentralized storage? No, no. Um, because the, we are the ones that basically decide everything anyway. Of course, you, you, you have the hero on the blockchain and you have proof that the hero of that streamer and whatever is on the blockchain. But when it comes down to the skin uh, footage, the image and stuff, like that's not uploaded on, on, on a website or whatever. We might introduce that in the future, we will see. But for now, we, we haven't done that. Also because, yeah, anyone can, can create any, like imagine you, you put in another face of someone else and then you export it. It's a bit like, uh, oh yeah. We haven't done it. Is Apple going to promote it on the stage? I don't think so. 
If you could go back in time, would you make the game again? Yes. If I could go back in time with the knowledge I had now, I would make the game again, but it would have come out a year and a half sooner. It would have come out a year and a half sooner, but with less functionality. This weekend does not mean tomorrow. It could also be the day after tomorrow. But yeah. It's also, I have played the beta so many times. Like, I'm so desynthesized about the game. It's also, yeah, like playing the beta over and over again, and it just makes you desynthesized. But it's really impressive, though. I just, you know, for AFK Arena, I just let scripts run. I'm rank one still, and I'm three months before rank two, which is quite funny if you think about it, but yeah. Scripts, I don't care so much about scripts in CUS unless you really run an entire bot farm and really start fucking with the economy. But yeah. Oh, our game is so much better than any other shit mobile game. Yeah. I have played Coin Master, of course. I know Coin Master in and out. I know it made one billion, made more than a billion. And our game is way better than Coin Master. That game made one billion because it has social media integration and it's very potato friendly which is literally, you know, Clash of Streamers is literally that on steroids. Because you might see and go like, well, there's a lot in the game, but once you play the game, I mean, you guys tried out the game, right? Okay, it's a little bit overwhelming at the start, a little bit, but overall, each building, it's easy to understand. There's one button to tap and that's it. Dubi is used in Clash of Streamers, although on, on Gaming for Good, you can spend Dubi or Purpose. What is the plan with COS revenue? It used to be about saving the world. Well, it's always about that. I don't give a shit about money. We will use money to have good projects. Like this is not, Clash of Streamers is not about filling our pockets. I don't give a shit about money. literally couldn't care shit about money. What we will mainly do with most of the money is reinvested in ads, I think. L literally, if, if, if $10 of ads result in $15 of revenue, we will just pump ads for every single dollar that comes in. We will immediately put it in ads. And uh, if that's not the case, I mean, like... We have to make the game to a point where the, the money for the ads brings more money. But that's already the case based on our previous statistics. But yeah, we're quite stacked. We are quite stacked. We, 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 we can do a big, big ad campaign, uh, but the game has to be stable. 
And when I say stable, what I mean with that is it's not that the game is not stable. It's that we haven't tested it in an environment where thousands or 10,000 active users are there. But yeah. Yeah, you can't use copyrighted uh, righted faces, just so you know. It's not allowed. Um. <sighs> well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be calling it a day here. I will come back live with a documentary. Um, and, um, yeah, like, will there be another uh, after party? I don't know. I will see the documentary will come out with the launch. Yeah. I will come out, yeah, we will come out soon and and own it up. Either way, keep it up, guys. If you have some eater, get yourself purpose. If you don't, feels bad. And I'll see you guys uh, really soon, either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Keep it up and peace out. Also, people that want to come over, you can always apply. <laughs> See you guys.